Hey guys, Rudix here, and I recently had the opportunity to try out the game Critica Online during its English closed beta testing. Critica is an action brawler MMO featuring a 3D anime style world with a hub based content system similar to games like Guild Wars or Vindictus. For the closed beta, I decided I would try out the Valkyrie class as I'm a huge fan of Valkyries in general. Sadly, the class didn't have anything to do with the traditional Nordic version of the Valkyrie that I'm used to, and instead featured a scythe-wielding girl who switched between range-based combat into close-quarters combat with the click of a mouse. Despite it not being the type of Valkyrie I was looking for, the class was extremely fun to play. Using a lot of wide, sweeping attacks and various juggling abilities, I was able to group up swarms of enemies and toss them around the arenas in a smooth and satisfying manner as I race through the dungeons the game features. The dungeons of Critica are incredibly tiny compared to what I expect from a game like this. This was probably the only part of the game I really didn't enjoy. Each area I went through took maybe 5 or so minutes to get through on average. It's nice to have a game that centers around the idea of just being able to quickly get in and out of the content. But when it takes longer to load up the program, select your character, and enter a dungeon than it does to actually run the dungeon, I become less inclined to just do a dungeon or so at random whenever I have time. It also causes some of the dungeons to feel more repetitive than necessary. Even in games like Fantasy Star Online, which originally only had four areas, going through each area took long enough that it but never felt repetitive despite the fact that it was very much repetitive. I also had the opportunity to play with a few friends recently, and because of how small everything was, I felt like I had constantly run into a situation where one person was just plowing through everything while the rest of the group was trying to catch up. It's not a huge deal, and perhaps our group is a little too overpowered for the content we were doing, but even in areas that were marked as being too hard for our group, it constantly felt like someone was just trying to constantly catch up to the rest of the group and maybe getting one or two hits in before the enemies died. Other than that, I enjoyed what little I've been able to play recently. It's a fun game, but it's not one I see too many people sticking around with for a long time. It'll definitely have its group of dedicated fans, but the type of content it offers feels incredibly niche, and in a market that really doesn't favor this style of game, I don't see people playing it for more than maybe a few weeks or so at a time. Thanks for watching, and enjoy Critica Online! I'll see you next time.